In this video, we shall solve some problems on functional. Our first problem is find the curve for which the functional i y x equal to integral 0 to pi by 4 of y square minus y dash square dx can have extrema given that y0 equal to 0 while the right end can vary along the line x equal to pi by 4 here the line can vary along the curve x equal to along the line x equal to pi by 4 here the right hand end can vary along the line x equal to pi by 4 here the functional is given by i y x equal to integral 0 to pi by 4 y square minus y dash square dx for this functional the Euler Lagrange equation becomes y double dash plus y equal to 0. We know that this is a second order differential equation. This is a second order differential equation. whose characteristic equation is m square plus 1 equal to 0 having a root m equal to plus minus i and hence its solution can be given by y equal to a cos x plus b sin x this is the solution of the differential equation. Now we are given that the boundary condition y at 0 equal to 0. This is the first boundary condition. If we put this value here, we will become y at 0 equal to a cos 0 plus b sin 0. Therefore, 0 equal to a. If you substitute this value, we will become it becomes equation 3 becomes y equal to b sin x because a is 0. The second boundary point, second boundary condition is not fixed. The second boundary condition is given that the right end can vary along the line x equal to pi by 4. From this, we can say that dou f by dou y dash we shall write this first the second boundary condition is not fixed and hence it moves along the line
x equal to pi by 4. And this can be of implies, this implies that dou f by dou y dash at x equal to pi by 4 is 0. f is our y minus b sin x. Therefore, dou f by dou y dash is nothing but y dash at x equal to pi by 4 equal to 0. But we have y dash equal to b cos x from equation 4. And hence, y dash at pi by 4 equal to y dash equal to b into cos pi by 4 and this gives b equal to 0. This gives b equal to 0. This implies that y equal to 0 because a is a 0 and b is also 0. As y equal to 0, we can say that the extremal attains on x axis only. This implies that the extremum extremal occurs attain on x axis. Second example, find the extremal of the functional i y x equal 0 to log of 2 of e raised to minus x y dash square minus e raised to x y square dx. Here the functional is given by i y x equal to integral 0 to log 2 e raised to minus x y dash square minus e raised to x y square dx. The Euler Lagrangian equation becomes y double dash minus y dash plus e raised to 2x into y equal to 0. This is the second order differential equation whose solution cannot be obtained directly or easily. Therefore, as solution of this differential equation cannot be obtained easily. We convert the original problem into simple problem by substituting x equal to log of u and y equal to v. If you substitute this x equal to log of u and y equal to v, we have when x equal to 0, u equal to 1 and when x equal to log 2, 
u equal to 2. Thus, for u equal to e raised to x, du by dx equal to so e raised to x. And therefore, dx equal to du by e raised to x, which is nothing but du by u. Also, y equal to v, this implies dy by dx equal to dv by dx, which is nothing but dv by du into du by dx. And therefore, dy by dx equal to v dash into u, where v dash equal to dv by du. And hence, functional of the equation becomes I y x I v x equal to integration from 1 to 2 v dash square minus v square du for estimation of this equation 2 The Euler's Lagrange equation become gives v double dash plus v equal to zero. Again, whose auxiliary equation is m square plus one and roots are plus minus one. Therefore, solution of this equation equation is v equal to a cos u plus b sin u. v equal to a cos u plus b sin u. Putting into original coordinate v equal to y. Therefore, y equal to a into cos of u is nothing but e raised to x, e raised to x plus b into sin of e raised to x. This is the solution. Our third problem is example third. If f satisfies you learn Lagrange equations f by dou y minus d by dx of dou f by dou y dash equal to 0, then show that f is a total derivative dg by dx of some function of x and y and conversely. This is our problem. It is given that Yep satisfies Euler Lagrange equation
डो एफ बाय डो वाई माइनस डी बाय डी एक्स ऑफ डो एफ बाय डो वाई डैश इक्वल टू जीरो वी हैव टू प्रूव दैट और वी क्लेम दैट यप इक्वल टू डी जी बाय डी एक्स वेयर g is a function of x and y we can write equation 1 explicitly as do f by do y minus do square f by do x do y dash minus do square f by do y do y dash minus do square f by do y dash square into y double dash equal to zero. Here we can observe in equation two. the first three terms on the left hand side contain at the highest First derivative of y dash. The first derivative of y. Therefore, equation two is satisfied identically. if the coefficient of y double dash vanishes identically and therefore do square f by do y dash square equal to 0 integrating with respect to y dash we get do f by do y dash equal to q of xy again integrating with respect to y dash we get f equal to q of xy into y dash plus p of xy there p xy and q xy are constant of integration and may be function of x and y only then the function yep so determine y 
up so determine must satisfy euler lagrange equation from equation 3 we have do f by do y equal to y dash into do q by do y plus do p by do y and do f by do y dash equal to q x y therefore euler lagrange equation becomes y dash into do q by do y plus do p by do y minus d by dx of q x y equal to 0 this implies that y dash into do q by do y plus do p by do y minus do q by do x minus do q by do y into y dash equal to 0 these two terms get cancel and hence we can get do p by do y equal to do q by do x this equation 4 is the condition that the equation pdx plus qdy equal to 0 is an exact differential equation dg equal to zero. This implies that dg equal to pdx plus qdy. Therefore, dg by dx equal to p plus qy dash equal to nothing but f. This implies that dg by dx equal to f, which proves necessary part. Conversely, suppose that. dg by dx equal to f and we prove f satisfies euler lagrange equation claim is to prove f satisfies euler lagrange equation we know that f equal to dg by dx from equation 5 this can be written as dou g by dou x plus 
डो जी बाय डो वाई इंटू वाई डैश दस यब बीकम्स यब बीकम्स डो जी बाय डो एक्स प्लस डो जी बाय डो वाई इंटू वाई डैश देर फोर वी कैन फाइंड डो एफ बाय डो वाई डिफ्रेंसिटिंग दिस एफ विथ रिस्पेक्ट टू वाई वी गेट डो स्क्वेर जी बाय डो एक्स डो वाई प्लस डो स्क्वेर जी बाय डो वाई स्क्वेर इंटू वाई डैश बट वी हैव डो एफ बाय डो वाई डैश इक्वल टू डो जी बाय डो वाई नाउ कन्सिडर डो एफ बाय डो वाय माइनस डी बाय डी एक्स ऑफ डो एफ बाय डो वाय डैश दिस बिकम्स डो स्क्वेर जी बाय डो एक्स डो वाय प्लस डो स्क्वेर जी बाय डो वाय स्क्वेर इंटू वाय डैश माइनस डी बाय डी एक्स ऑफ डो जी बाय डो वाय देर फोर डो एफ बाय डो वाय माइनस डी बाय डी एक्स ऑफ डो एफ बाय डो वाय डैश दिस बिकम्स डो स्क्वेर जी बाय डो एक्स डो वाय प्लस डो स्क्वेर जी बाय डो वाय स्क्वेर वाय डैश माइनस डो स्क्वेर जी बाय डो एक्स डो वाय माइनस डो स्क्वेर जी बाय डो वाय स्क्वेर वाय डैश फ्रॉम दिस डो स्क्वेर जी डो एक्स डो वाय डो दिस टर्म्स गेट कैंसल एंड दिस टू टर्म्स गेट कैंसल and therefore we will get equal to 0 thus do f by do y minus d by dx of do f by do y dash equal to 0 this proves that the function f equal to dg by dx satisfies euler lagrange equation thank you